Oh my god, it's Alone in the Dark. It continues, and we are about to meet our good friend Theophile Paddington at the museum. We finally made it as we enter Chapter 6. But before we take a look at that, there's something else that we should be taking a look at. I mentioned last time uh, that the manual said that this game did have a website called centraldark.com, but centraldark.com is no longer up. The Wayback Machine, uh, I can't load it through that. I guess it needs Flash, maybe, um, but I can't take a look at it. But someone, uh, R2 Saga, did link me a daily motion video uh, that, that was from centraldark.com, so we can take a look at that. And why don't we do that now? That is small. In the heart Hold of on. New York City lies Central Park. There it is. A haven known and loved by millions. A place where New Yorkers can take a few moments away from the daily stress. In 150 years, the park has never changed. Isn't that strange? 25 million people visit the park every year. Some never leave. Unexplained phenomena are witnessed more and more. Park rangers report strange bird behavior that puzzles the specialists. Shouldn't these be investigated? Despite its gigantic real estate value, it has remained untouched. Who has the financial power to protect it? For what purpose? Since its creation, frightful rumors and mysteries shroud it. Central Park is hiding a secret. Well, what did you think about the um the Central Park the Central Park conspiracy theory? Did you enjoy it? Isn't it's weird that no one's bought Central Park and developed over it, isn't it? Who could possibly have enough money to prevent that from happening? I mean, if you think about it, it's a little weird. There's some mysterious, a, a mysterious rich cabal who is making sure Central Park stays in its current state because it is con it is containing Lucifer. When you think about it, it makes perfect sense. You know what else makes sense? Alone in the Dark 2008. What makes sense is learning the truth and also learning about what happened last time in Alone in the Dark. Previously on Alone in the Dark. We went through a lot of trouble to get you and that stone together, Theo. You will be our light bringer. Crowley is the one behind this chaos. He made me retrieve the stone. Here's the stone you've carried for so long. Light is Lucis, and to bring is Pharaoh. So Lightbringer is actually Lucifer. I know I've done fucked up things in the past. I can feel it. Something to do with the stone. Meet me at the museum, Edward. Room 943. <laughs> I'm looking for something. Like what? Room 943. Go down one level and through an underground tunnel. Use the forklift, it'll go faster. Oh, Everything... are you supposed to do it like that? Were you supposed to like leave a trail of alcohol? For you, there will be no mercy. Finally. About fucking time. Give me the truth! Finally! I'm waiting with bated breath. <sighs> A lonely place. Feels like Theo. I really hoped you would be here, waiting for us. Take a look at this. There's writing. Theo, my pupil, and I. 1936. You haven't changed. Barely. But Theo's dead, and it leads me nowhere. Hey, what the hell? 
Oh, gameplay. No, no. Is it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Gameplay has started. We oh, no. There's nothing in here. I'm being attacked by Theo's office. No power? I'm a little unclear as to what we should be doing. Edward! Yeah? Oh, there's a... There's a door. About to say things cal things calm down, but then the music got dramatic again. Could you go check it out? Oh yeah, okay. Oh, right, I have to go into first-person mode. Oh, hey, it's Theo. There he is. Alright, that way. He's looking alright. It's a wonderful toilet he has here. Mm hmm. So, when that security guard said that Theo uh, lived here, he really wasn't kidding. He really wasn't kidding that he spent all his time here. Anything more specific, Theo? Okay, this, this. Here it's written, Sarah. Me? Oh no, no! Tell me it's a coincidence! Alright. He's pointing us to the truth. you to You know, writing a note in advance would have gone a long way, Theo. Like, you have a blackboard right here. What if you just, like, wrote everything you needed to tell Carnby on this? So he could just read that? What do you want me to see in your bathroom, Theo? Oh, perf him. perfume for him. Down. Sarah, I want you to... Sarah, I want you to knock him down. Thanks, Theo. Sounds like you're gonna have to kick my ass. Uh, but I don't want to hurt you. I, I could... I know, it sounds absurd, but hey, you dream of it. Okay, let's do it, Sarah. Not an option. All right. 
Before, I, I wanted to tell you that... You don't hate me that much? That's it? Okay. Give me that thing here. I'll stay next to you. Oh, right, right on, right on the vertebrae. You got me right on the vertebrae, Sarah. We have no time. I died to join you here because this war is raging on every plane of existence. The stone you're carrying offered men fortune and eternal life. They called it the Philosopher's Stone, but they were fooled. When Lucifer was deposed from heaven and forced to live among men as a mortal, he designed an artifact that would carry his soul through time, waiting for the right moment to take his revenge. Lucifer was trapped in his own creation, but I have released him. Now he's searching for the stone, because it can recast his fate as well as ours. Like people, Central Park hides secrets you shall exhume. Some are lethal, but one of them can save us. Now wake up and close your eyes. Edward, did something happen? Uh, you said something about eyes. Close my eyes. Theo told me what? that... Well, I mean, I, I'm, I'm sure releasing Lucifer from the stone is all good. It's all gonna... It's all for the best. I mean, I, it obviously was not the Philosopher's Stone, though. We've seen the Philosopher's Stone. It is red, and it is in Rio's chest, replacing her heart. That's the only true Philosopher's Stone. We know this. Fancy. My God, that's incredible. Yeah, 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 yeah. See this. Uh, Theo's diary, the old castle two months before. The old castle was called the Eye of Central Park by the Templars. Do we mean Templars? I guess the, the lens must be placed up there to point to the key's location. I don't have the time to be sure. It could be anywhere under our feet, waiting for centuries in the darkness of the underground. But something is coming. I feel it. Hello, Edward, my old friend, my mentor. If you've read this, if you read this, it means I've dragged you back from the Curse of the Stone. Seventy years ago, you took me as your pupil. I was a young offender then, but you saved me by giving, fa giving me faith in esoteric mysteries. When you found the stone and began your research, you realized my fascination for it and under understood the evil that was trapped inside. So one day you disappeared to Europe with the stone, but thanks to the medallion, time had no effect on you for seventy years. But in return, it deeply corrupted you. I felt betrayed when you left. Now I'm grateful. Our fate is in your hands, my friend. I found this poem in the circular room. The hands of Venus will shape the lock to this door, while Mars will fight to bring the key back to the core. It's a surprise. The carrier is not meant to follow the path of light alone, but it sounds coherent with the principles of alchemy. Mars and Venus, a man and a woman, the completion of two, finally making one. The strength of humanity. I just don't know who this Venus will be. The lens must be enlightened. It's so simple. Any beam of light projected through the lens has the power to open the path of light's door. Light is the fuel. Everything those Templars built was centered on light as a physical force. They found a way to channel it like a fluid. This is the source of their power and their incredible science. It seems that the door to their room works on the same principle. Fluid light. A man named Crowley contacted me today. He claims he's heard about my work and wishes to help me finance my research, which would be great, but I can't help but thinking he's trying to buy me. Some secrets must not be told. Some must be respected with devotion. 
It's the first time I realize I don't know too much about these things. I must be careful. I've lost too much time. I've lost everything. Madeline is dead. I've been too deep. I'm waking up into... A new nightmare. They've all left me, like Edward. Jesus, I nearly forgot his name. Is he still alive? Am I still alive? Crowley and his men are growing more insistent each day. I think they're watching me. I cannot let those maniacs know about the path of light. Or even worse, the stone and its power. In fact, I guess Crowley already knew too much when he came to me. Anyway, he can go to hell. He won't get anything from me. They found him. I can't believe it. He's still alive. Since they cannot manipulate the stone without the ritual, those fools think that I should lead it for them. Whatever happens, I must do it for Edward. This is what I've worked for for 70 years. If I manage to spare him, he'll have so much to do. We all need him. I'm sure he's the one, the true light carrier. One hour left until the meeting. The wheel of fate is on a steep slope. I've studied as many books and manuscripts as possible concerning the ritual. To clean the stone and free Edward from it will cost me a lot of energy. I don't mind sacrificing myself. But Edward will be ris risking so much more. Lucifer always takes something from his prey. Once his will is free, we'll all be exposed to his rage. But we'll have a chance to stop him before we lose everything, our world, and get rid of his presence once and for all. It is under every New Yorker's eyes, Central Park is hiding a secret. And we just watched that video. In fact, Central Park is a secret so massive it would alarm everyone. There are signs. But I never have figured it out without those new documents I found. I understand now why the park has remained untouched throughout the centuries. Some people protected it. Yeah, I must go deeper, whatever it costs. We step on the truth, but I'm starting to understand that the truth is about to turn into a nightmare. I heard on the world news that a single man has killed 20 innocent people in a club in Prague. The man spoke English, was around 35 with a large scar on a face. He looked possessed and wore a gleaming stone around his neck. They didn't manage to catch him. That's him. I fear what he has become, but it's time to pay off my debt. Let's go back to work. So that was eight years ago. All right, objective, find a way to open the ancient path. Shape the lock to this door, while Mars will fight to bring the key back to the core. Oh, I can't pick that up until I make some room. Left side of jacket. And that is? Oh, a lens. All right, Hands of Venus shapes the lock. Mars will fight to bring keys back. All right, well, camera angle is like really on this, but we already picked the stuff up. What do you make about this? No, no, no comments. Well, we can leave. Do I just leave? Doesn't seem like there's anything else around. I wonder why... I mean, I guess it was just pointing out that I needed to pick up the items that were on top of this. I need to fight to bring the key back. Alright, what if I equip? Okay, I can combine it with my flashlight to make a symbol. I can do that.
don't know if I need to use the symbol in the room. Sarah, yep. Just gonna keep reading that. I don't know if there's anything in here. I mean, we got the lens. Oh, okay, there is that on on there. Oh, there we go. Something happened. It, did anything happen in here, Sarah? When I did that? Still reading that, huh? I'm not noticing anything different. No, not that. What if I close my eyes? There's an X down there. Why is there an X painted down there? Uh, that's not doing anything. Was there, were there any other symbols that look like that? This is the only thing that's actually reacting. It seemed like it just kind of stopped. After holding it on for a little bit. I can keep holding it on there. I mean, you can see like a, a border for a door. Can't actually open the door. Okay, I had to be specifically here. All right. So I understand. Here's my part in all this. I have to build the lock to that door. This is what I was meant to do, right? Right. I'm heading to the old castle. Build this lock, and maybe we'll see the end of this soon. Trust me. And take care. Alright, you figure out how to build that lock, because I don't know what it's talking about. I'll be on my way down here, fighting for something. Anything... anything in here? Doesn't seem like it. Well, we can get in the forklift. Before we do that, why why do we why are we getting in a forklift? What do we need the for? Oh, there are dudes down there. And let's just get an idea of what we need the forklift for. Looking around, is it apparent? Wait, we're gonna what we're gonna do with it? Oh, they got over to this side, huh? Not jump up from this. It appears I cannot. Does it just not want me to get to the other side like that? I, I could easily grab that. I could easily grab that that ledge. I, it just it wants me to get um there another way, and not grabbing onto the ledge, which Carnby can do with other ledges. With no problem at all. Just he just doesn't want me to do it with this one. He can squeeze through that. He can absolutely squeeze through that. 
All right. It's not actually on. Oh, there we go. Can't drive it into that. pick something up with it. Well, I mean, maybe that's pick upable. Drive it down here. Okay, we can do that. There, bridge is done. We should have just been given a runway and then just like did a do like a car jump with the forklift. Yes. Over there. And there's also down here. Once again, Carnby could totally grab that. There's nothing stopping him from grabbing that. <laughs> it's on the other side of this, anyway. this over it and burn it. Okay, yeah, that worked well enough. Right, well, it was pointing at this. Wants me to do something with that. It only did that when I got over here. Then, like, when I went over the bridge, the camera, like, looked back over there. Like, hey, huh? You see that? See that over there? Don't forget that that's there. I'm like, all right. 
I won't forget it's there. And there's this. So I should get him first. He's dodging. He's dodging my mallet. My big, my big old hammer. Okay, he's, he's just getting out of the way. No. That's not, this is not going to do the job on this. Not even a little bit. We might use a bomb. Usually when you need a bomb, they, like, have bottles of alcohol scattered around, and I've not seen those. But I do have a bottle. So we could give it a try. No, that did not do it. Not saying anything when I look at that. Maybe my magic lens could do something. Eh? Eh? Yeah. Anything over there? Was there anything... was there anything down here? No. No, it's just a dead end down here. Alright, let's try to think it all... think it out all logically, like. When I went across the forklift, well, went across the bridge, which is being held up by the forklift, I, I got over here, and then the camera looked at that. Did, uh, did I, is that where I came in? It, did it look at there because it's caved in? Did it just want to point, did it want to point out to me that I can't go back? Is that, was that just the reason for it? Maybe that was the... Maybe that's why the camera looked at that. I'm not sure. We went in here. Can't get in there. I came in here. And then there was a lever. And we can pull that back up. And then that goes back in. We can make that go in and out. We can make it happen. Then we have this sort of platform here. I could try to jump on this, but I cannot. I cannot. Jumping appears to be not an option on this thing. I guess we're trying to get up there. Some containers. I don't know if we can interact with the containers. What if I... What if I, uh... No, not that. What if I blink? Anything supernatural in here? 
doesn't seem like there is. There's this pipe. I have pipe. Do I need pipe? There's a fire, if I wanted to set something on fire. Would set, like, taking some wood and setting it on fire, would that help with anything? I'm looking at this platform. We have some gears. But the only thing we can actually interact with is, uh... This bit right here. I assume I can't drive the forklift over here, because I need the forklift for the bridge. Unless I was able to lock the bridge in place, but I don't think I saw something that could do that. Doesn't look like it. I can get back in. Oh no, it is locked in place. This is this top speed. This is the top speed of the forklift. Rio would be embarrassed. Right, so I interact with this. I mean, pulling the lever will just make that go in. It wouldn't really change anything. But you can drive the forklift down here. Which seems like it's important. It doesn't really make sense, but... What's, can you use the forklift as like a... It's like a platform? It doesn't seem like it. it doesn't seem like it. Alright, that thing goes in and out. I can, I can drive the forklift down here for some reason. effects yeah. is there anything else anything else we would do with this forklift down here Seems to be the only thing the lever does.
Mm -hmm. Yep, thank you for that. Thank you, choir. Hmm. Why do we want to do that? What purpose does that serve? Well, so if I'm thinking about what this machine does, and this machine, like, pushes and pulls this thing in and out, why would that need to go in and out? Well, this worked on that door a while back. It doesn't seem like it's wor it doesn't seem like shooting the crates. It doesn't seem like shooting the crates is doing anything. I mean, the gun is a primary mode of interaction in this game. So maybe I need to interact with gun. But shooting interacting with the crates isn't doing anything. And I don't think that's going to interact. we could move the forklift up here. And, like, have it, this interact with it here? Yay! Did that do anything? It seems like the only thing that thing could do would be to push something. And the only thing I have to push is the... is the forklift. It's just the same thing again. Like, even if that worked, what would I be doing? Am I trying to push it over? Because even if it worked, I don't know why that would help. I mean, it can interact with it a little bit. Yeah, maybe, maybe the idea here is that I'm trying to push it over so I could use it as a platform. Maybe. But Carnby wouldn't actually need a platform. The, the thing he's trying to grab is low enough that he can jump to it himself. Is that lined up? Uh, probably not.
guess let's try it like this. I think he can bump it. It's not pushing it over, though. Unless it, like, has to do so on one particular... On, like, one particular part of it. Oh, wait, hold on. He was able to jump up on the back of that. Doesn't look like he's supposed to. Like, I don't get the feeling that's what you're supposed to do, but he can do it. <gasps> Not quite getting it. Keeps just jumping over that. Like, he, he can do it. I mean, you have to sort of manipulate him just so to make him do it. Uh, there, there we go. There we go. Out of the way, please. Thank you. So, what... What was the mystery of the thing that went in and out of the wall? What was that for? I guess I'll never know. And I'm fine with that. Being involved in the museum's life has finally paid off. Last night I found a hidden door deep inside room 943's foundations. I knew it. The first investors in this museum were the same investors as for Central Park. But the door remains tightly sealed for the moment. That's strange. It's the first time I haven't thought about Madeline too much. Ma Madeline too much, yes. I think of a life to save instead, Edwards. That's right. The intrigue behind Central Park. The investors in the museum were the people who were funding Central Park. We're learning the juicy details behind it. going back up there. And a ladder over here, too. Uh... 
I'm sure. I'm sorry. I should say. Uh... All right. So this is not opening. No, 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 I didn't. I wasn't going to set something on fire. No lighter here. Uh. Sure. Lighter. Just just like a little bit here to to set on fire, I guess. Doesn't let me interact with that switch anymore. And that door is not going up. another one up there. Alright, there's a broken ladder. Ah. And, and crates to pull out with which to climb this. So I guess that does mean that I need the forklift. Does it actually let Carnby jump on these? Okay, yeah. So we can we can use these to get back up. If we if we need to. Question is, how do we get the forklift up here? It was it wasn't clear, unless there was just something else we could interact with aside from that. Like we can pull that lever to make this thing go in and out. It seemed like that was the only. The only sort of interaction we had. I mean, we have the forklift now, but... We could use that to pick things up. If we so chose.
Maybe we could practice doing that. Yeah, there we go. We can pick it up. Look at us pick this thing up. I mean, it's, it's not good forklift practice to leave the forklift when the fork is up like that with cargo, I'm sure. Just out of curiosity, if we put this here and then push push this out, what does it do? Okay, it can just push that right over. It has no problem pushing it over. Is another wheel thing up here and over here. I can't actually like walk right up to it. A little invisible wall, I guess. I can get it from this perspective. But there's no uh, interaction, there's, like no prompt or anything to do something with. forklift itself. Or it could get the forklift stuck. Alright, there's... So in the next room, we get the impression that we need the forklift. So that would mean we need to get the forklift up there. There's like some machinery here. This machinery over here doesn't seem like it's connected to anything. We haven't seen it. I haven't seen it do anything. The only thing it does anything is this thing over here, which pushes out. So how do we make use of that to get the forklift up to the top level. Now, I assume that the boxes are not part of that proceeding, that solution, because when I j used the forklift to jump up on there, it really didn't look like... It didn't look like that was something I was supposed to do. It didn't seem like it. Why don't we look down from above? So if we're going to drive the forklift up there, you'd presume that we would need a ramp to go up there. Maybe we should get boxes out of the way first. There's also that fire over there. It doesn't look like we would need to burn something. It doesn't really. 
At least, or if we did, I don't know what the burning would be. doesn't want to stay on. Alright, there it is. The whole, just the whole thing, huh? All right, and that's what this is for. Hey, what's going on in here? Did you solve the puzzle? I made that puzzle myself. I was sh I was so proud of it. I was sure no one no I sure no one was going to solve that thing. How dare you? How do that is a personal insult to me and a personal insult to my family? You you think you're going up that ramp? You got another thing coming that would con be. Path to light my ass. think you're so big because you figured out the forklift puzzle and like a hundred years ago you figured out that you got to kill the tree pirate by throwing a lamp at him and ever since then you think you're so big all right that's the puzzle the rant the that entire floor was an object that could be lifted. Right, and the entire reason that I went to get this was so I could pick this up. Bring this over here. Is that enough, or do I need another box? Let's see. Nah, that's not enough. So is the reason, like, this seg segment is in the game is because someone said, you know, this game doesn't really seem too much like Alone in the Dark. Didn't Alone in the Dark have, like, puzzles? Do we need puzzles? Yeah, I guess there should be puzzles. We probably should put some puzzles in this. up
Try to get it under one of the tines. Win a little bit. Quite getting it. Or maybe it's just maybe it's just this directly. Alright, there it is. Well, I get maybe the fork. Got a read message. Is the forklift saga over? So many books, codes, and signs. So many hidden things. Am I wasting my time on a fool's dream? The manuscripts talk about a door to the afterlife. It's surely symbolic. I hope so. If it's not, I'm not sure I'm prepared for this. All sources are merging into a sort of prophecy. Potentialities are fading away. Only one ro road remains leading into a black hole. I've opened the door. I'm amazed by their technology. They've learned to use some sort of primal energy to ca channel it and concentrate its flow. Now that I know, I feel it everywhere, and mostly in this room. The new circular room seems to be an antechamber to something important, but a piece is still missing. It looks like a lock. I've managed to build the alchemist's lens. It took me 50 hours of hard work and help from a craftsman to get it right, but it seems perfect. With this lens and what I found in the pillar, I should finally make some progress on the path of light. If only Edward was here, dot, dot, dot. Uh, well, remember to shoot the rope. Can't forget to do that. Down we go. in a, a subway. Yep. That train still has power. Don't suppose we have any items lying around. Like some health or something. It would be nice. Is that health spray? There might be a bottle of health spray in there. Oh. No, that's an explosive bottle. It's good to have, but... Enter. Danger. Well, 
this is blocked. I assume we can't explode it. It looks pretty reinforced. Doesn't seem like there's anything here. All right, well, we could try to go out onto that, but where are we going? Yeah, we can just go out onto this. Where... But where are we going? You ever play a game that it feels like you don't vibe with in any sl in the slightest way at any time at any point? Like you have no idea what the game is trying to tell you at any point in time. Where am I where am I going? Why do I want to be on this train? There's nothing down there. Do I want to get in the train? Why am I getting in the train? Is there an into the train, or is it just, you know, is there just an outside? Seems like it's leading me here. And we have a special camera angle for that. something over there, but obviously we're not getting over there. Could use my new bottle, I guess, as a bomb. Well, I don't have a cloth, so I can't actually make a Molotov, can I? I could shoot it, but I'm, like, standing right there. Unless there is a cloth somewhere around. Eden's Yummies! You're gonna like it! What is it that we're gonna like? Well, it's that. That's what we're gonna like. I did, I did not see any cloth.
guess I could just throw it and shoot it, maybe. I guess that could work. Maybe. Okay, yeah, there we go. So, oh, fight back by creating explosions. Oh, wait, there's, there's bottles here. There's bottles and a cloth. Explosion. I got that gum to back off for a little bit. There's two bottles left. That missed. I mean, it exploded, but clearly that didn't hit him. Nope, too late. Fight back by creating explosions! That was- nope. That was too close. That was too close. Fight back by creating explosions! That was still- it was too close to me and not close enough to him. Fight back by creating explosions. Again. How am I still am I too close all the time now? I need to be further away. Much further away. But he needs to get closer then. Right back by creating explosions. After I get him to back off, maybe I should like run up further the tra further in the train. Maybe, maybe I don't kill him. Maybe I just get him to back off. No, never mind. Sometimes it doesn't hit him. Ah, uh, that was too close? 
I mean, he didn't die. Oh, never mind. I made him back off, and it, it wasn't too close. That's still too close. I mean, you can be pretty far away and do it. I don't know if that means he'll be dead. I just am saying I have one more bottle. Now he's still going. He was still. He didn't get hurt by that one. I I missed on that last one. I guess. Not that. Gun. Never mind. too early on that one. So at this point, you can so you can tell that I'm hit when I hit him he backs off. I have not hit him with all four bottles yet, so I don't know what happens at that point. Does he die or do, do we keep going when I run out of bottles? We have yet to find out. more. 
No? That fourth bottle, again, did not hit him. I don't- I don't know why. We don't actually have much time to experiment with anything. Like I can make nope, I can make him back nope. I nope, never mind. I can make him back off and then maybe we can look around. We only have a few seconds to do it though. Backs off. Oh. oh. Okay, never mind. Okay, we do actually run up the, the... We do run this up up here. to put out that fire with uh, a fire extinguisher. I guess we should get him to back off first. Train. Looks like I should be able to get in there. Okay, well. Oh, I did not have my gun out. I did not have it out. That did not make him back off. Right back by creating explosions. Oh, 
He's dead? Okay, Carnby looks happy about that and also is in the train. And we're done. Uh, someone will have to tell me. I know this game features in this chapter features a PS3 exclusive act. Oh, that was that's that that's the black slime. Uh, in this game, in this chapter, features an exclusive action sequence to the PS3 version. Someone will help to have to tell me if that was it. That might have been it. Just speak one little phrase and I can pull you out of there. No, cut the dramatic bullshit, Crowley. What do you want? The stone card, me. Just tell me you'll give it to me. Or must I be content with watching you dissolve into that black film? You have ten seconds. Fuck off. Here, let me give you something to think about. Oh, that was gameplay. I'm sorry. We were in gameplay. The cutscene ended. Just as, uh... Yeah. Just wanted to equip the lighter and see if that worked. That worked really well. That one time. Nah, it's too fast. It's too fast. I don't have time to do it. already I've grown tired of chasing you Carnby you should have been dead long ago sorry punctuality is one of my strengths give it to me please not so fast I want some answers first don't play games with me boy if the stone is cursed why do you want it what about the path of light the stone deserves better than that ridiculous prophecy. Happy endings are for fools. To hell with mankind. I was born to carry that stone. The rest is no concern of yours. That's the chapter. We're done. I've earned a trophy because I learned the truth. Uh, so, sort of. Uh, the stone is the Philosopher's Stone. And the Path of Light is, uh, something. And then Crowley wants it for other reasons. 
That's the truth. See, we learned it. We learned all of it. There's no more truth to learn. I assume Crowley didn't die in that crash. That would be a little weird if he just died right there. But then again... I mean, no, I mean, he, he probably would show up a little later. Like, there's not that much game left. Well, I mean, I don't know how long the final chapters are, but this was chapter 6 out of 8. So there are two chapters left. They might be long chapters. We'll see. All right. You know, this would have been a really short chapter if it wasn't for the forklift saga. This would have been the shortest chapter yet. If it wasn't for adventures and figuring out what to do with a forklift. That was the true boss, the true boss fight of Alone in the Dark 2008. What do I do with this forklift? Also, uh, we don't have Sarah with us anymore because she stayed in the circular room and is sending us text files from, uh, from Theophile. So she's not here right now. You know, if, if this, if this, like, if the next chapter is like a buddy comedy with uh, Carnby and Crowley, yeah, I'd be all right with that. They have to work together, but they want to want they want to kill each other. I mean, I, I don't know. That's probably a bit more interesting than this game is going to deal with, but that'd be all right. Um. All right. So, we truth. We saw. We met Theophile. He told us to meet him in that room, and we did. We met his ghost. And uh, he pointed at things, and his big message that he was trying to get across is that Sarah needs to knock out Carnby. And so she did. Um, yeah, like I say, like I said before, just like everything this game does, I'm just it's just not getting through to me. Um. Every bit of information it tries to get across, I just don't absorb. And... I don't know. I'm just not getting anything it's trying to do. So... That's chapter 6. Will chapter 7 have any puzzles? Or is it time for the infamous... Bur we gotta burn trees in Central Park? Because people have said that's coming. People have said we're going to be driving around Central Park burning some trees. Is that coming up next? Maybe. Because we're outside again. We are outside. Out of the museum. So maybe that, maybe that means it's time to drive around Central Park burning trees. I burned one tree in Chapter 4. Do you know what it said when I did that? It said uh, I had 2% spectral vision. I think it's what it said. So if burning one tree gave me 2% spectral vision, that would, you know, supposedly mean there's 50 trees. 49 left. So, I get, maybe that's what we're doing next time. Is it? I will find out. In Alone in the Dark, 